In this video, I will perform a steady state heat transfer analysis that includes 1D conduction and convection. First thing I'll go ahead and do is create a directory on my desktop called Problem 29. I'll then start a new session of Patran. I'll create a new Patron database and save it to the same directory, call it problem 29. Here under analysis type, make sure this is selected to thermal. The units for this example are in feet, BTU, hour, and degree Fahrenheit. Now I'll go ahead and click OK here. Under the Geometry tab, I'll create my rod by defining a curve using the line by XYZ method. Here we see that the rod is one foot in length. So from the origin, zero, 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 my curve will extend one foot in the X direction. Click Apply. Here's my curve. Under the Properties tab, I'll go ahead and define an isotropic material. Here, for material name, I'll just call it matte. Under Input Properties, I'll give it a thermal conductivity of 132 BTU per hour feet degree Fahrenheit. My density is 1. Click OK and Apply. Now I'll go ahead and apply this material to the rod here. So here under 1D properties, I click rod. For property set name, call it rod property. Under input properties, use the material we just defined. For area, the problem statement includes an area of 0.001365 feet squared. Click OK. Under Select Application Region, make sure to have Curve 1 selected. Add it to the Application Region, click OK, and click Apply. Now going on to our Boundary Conditions, click the Load Species tab. Define a nodal temperature. For new set name, we'll call this one T Base, and our Temperature is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. For input data, type in 250. Click OK. For select application region, here select the point filter option and select this point. Add it, OK, and apply. For our next boundary condition, we have T fluid with an ambient temperature of 70 degrees and a convective film coefficient of 1.6 BTU per hour feet squared degree Fahrenheit. So once you click convection here, and here you give it a, a name of T fluid, for target element type you select 1D for input data Convection coefficient is 1.6 and your ambient temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Click OK. For select application region, select this one dimensional curve, add it, OK, and apply. And you'll see your marker here. Now it's time to go ahead and mesh this curve. So under the meshing tab, click the curve mesher here. Select this curve. For our global edge length, we'll manually give it a value of 0.25 feet. This will create elements with the length of 0.25 feet. Click Apply. Here you'll see the feedback. I've created five nodes and four elements. So if I were to reset graphics, go to the Home tab, click Label Control, I can turn on my node numbers and my element numbers. Now to analyze this problem, I go to the Analysis tab, analyze the entire model. 
under solution type, ensure you've selected steady state analysis. Click OK and click apply to analyze this example. Once the analysis is done, you can access your XDB results by clicking this icon and hitting apply. Under the results tab, select cursor. Ensure you've selected default A1 here. Scroll down and select the temperatures result and click apply. Make sure you have recursor in here, and now you can individually pick the nodes and display their respective temperatures. So here at node 2, we get a value of 218, followed by 196, and then 184, and then lastly, 180. When we compare this to our results we are expected to get, we approximately get these values 218, 296, 184, and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Close this window, click Reset Graphics, save your model, and this concludes this video.